modern, you know, modern day leadership, it's actually not complicated. Leadership is about inspiring people, is about creating opportunities for people to grow, um, and it's about consultation. There's always this underlying comments. Whenever something needed to be uh, degraded or uh, put down on or negative comments, are you fag? Uh, or that is so gay. And, and so you can imagine as a young gay person um, growing up where every comment you hear about you know who you are in terms of your own sexuality, every single comment about it is negative. Uh, I got a call and it was a tow truck driver and Carl had T-boned a BMW and uh, he was in a really bad state and uh, sadly he died uh, in uh, probably about two or three hours after the accident. And <laughs>every single person has a book in them, everyone, all of us, uh, because we all have a story to tell and we all have stories. You know? So when you watch a movie, which is a life story and so on, that was a, just an everyday person like you and I, um, and just a normal human being. And we just then tell stories. And I think you, you still have an intrinsic purpose. My purpose has always been about inspiring people. Um, and, and has always been about mentoring and developing people and growing people. Um, and that can continue. That continues all the time. You know, so a day doesn't go by where I talk to someone or uh, give assistance or motivate or try and inspire someone. Um, so that continues. So you still have that purpose that, you know, I, you know, I don't need to be employed or working for an organization to, to have a purpose like that. I think that's more an intrinsic purpose and that's, and that's very important. And uh, they just kept on the alpha. I was like, who the hell is alpha? So eventually I got a hold of my mom. I said, listen, this is what I've done and I need to know, but who's alpha? She said, oh, alpha. You know, alpha was a packer at uh, the checkers in, in um, Hilbra. And uh, my dad obviously shopped there and um, got to know alpha. And alpha was, and he had an incredible physique. And my dad invited him to come and train and then employed him as an instructor um, after hours so after he would finished work at checkers um, and i thought that was phenomenal and my mom said you know alfie and your dad were incredibly close and then you kind of go back to 1970s south africa which is the height of apartheid um, and there my dad was getting a black guy into the gym working there training all these obviously white clients um, and and really kind of looking after uh, you know Alfie's interests and and I remember this guy uh, and uh, this guy Vernon sort of he was in grade eleven standard nine at the time and he physically used to beat me every single week that until I actually yes. first would cry um, and uh, his favourite was take, hitting you on your thigh but on the same spot and probably hit you about twenty thirty times as hard as he could. So you actually yes. couldn't feel your legs. I mean, that's how bad it was. Um, yes. His other favorite activity was setting up fights. So you would have to literally like gladiators, <laughs> you'd have to fight someone. And the remember. next thing, there were uh, four police officers, Metro police surrounded the, um, the, the taxi. And uh, they had started questioning me and asking me why I was wanting to get back into London because the taxi driver had gone and reported this at this foreign looking guy. And maybe you know, said I looked like an Arab because I had a dark complexion with the rucksack was trying to get into London. I was like, so I, I, I tried to explain myself and they wanted my identification, which I never had my passport yeah. on me because I'd left it behind. So I said, look, I don't have, and they, they, inspected the looked at the uh, rucksack and of course what do they pull out the my book inside 9-11 um, and so they start putting two and two together and I'm you know the more you try and act innocent when you actually are innocent yeah. you end up acting guilty so they then were like listen we, we, we're going to detain you in the section 44 of the terrorism act um, so I, I said, look, you can't do that. I'm a school teacher, but you've just told us you went for a meeting with a travel agency. Why are you, if you're a school teacher, why are you going? It's what drives me. So what is, what is my purpose? And getting to that purpose, the journey needs to be fun. What, whatever you're doing, 
you need to have fun. It doesn't matter the situation um, that you find yourself in. You can overcome obstacles. You can overcome sort of these challenges that are thrown your way. And, and it's how you do it and who you do it with. Waking at dawn, packing the gear.